Okay, YouTube, so Nintendo has officially announced the Nintendo Switch Lite, and we're gonna talk all about it. So you ready? Let's go! Okay, YouTube, so Nintendo Switch Lite is here. It will be coming out this fall, and so we're going to talk a little bit about the differences between the two. So the very first major difference is that you will not be able to dock the Nintendo Switch Lite to your television. This will be a handheld version of the console only. It features a 5.5 inch screen, whereas the original Switch features a 6.2 inch screen. Uh, so you will still have headphone support. You will not have detachable Joy-Cons. It is uh, an all-in-one all unit uh, where they have removed the buttons here. They have replaced it with a standard D-pad, which is fantastic for those that love their side-scrolling platform games, such as myself. Um, one other thing to consider is, uh, is that... The Nintendo Labo will not work with this. So there's another key feature. I'm sitting here going over, going over the, the new specs here. Um, it is coming in three different colors. You're going to have a turquoise, a vibrant yellow, and a gray color. Um, it is all matte plastic. And my feelings on this is that this is Nintendo's... Uh, position in phasing out the 3DS, which I think this is the right way to go as far as continuing the Switch, um, making it a little bit more portable, making it a little bit more affordable, although I think that they could have made it even more affordable somewhere in the 150 to 175 range, seeing as how it is smaller, I don't have the ability and you don't have the ability to dock it to your television anymore. That was the whole mainframe, the whole idea behind the name of Switch, being able to switch from television to portable. Um, so, in that aspect, you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have a lot of people that are mm, not really on board with it. So, I'm not going to be purchasing one myself. I would much rather stick with my standard Switch. But I do believe that parents and um, those that are wanting a more handheld experience and parents that are looking to buy their children um, a new Christmas gift, uh, children that are wanting the Switch but parents that can't afford to throw out $300, uh, this is perfect. So with the kids in mind and for the gamers that are looking for straight portability, this is a, a fantastic version of the Switch. I do like that it is smaller. I do like that it is going to come standard with the D-pad. I do like the different color options. I do like the idea of not having detachable Joy-Cons. An all-in-one unit is fantastic. These things get expensive, and when you start having issues with these, you can start forking out and shelling out some money left and right. All right, so some different specs on the unit itself. You're going to, it's going to feature a 91.1 millimeter by 208 millimeter by 13.9 millimeter in size. So that's going to be the, the length, the width, and the height of, of the unit. And the weight of the unit is going to be approximately 275 grams. Um, it will feature the capacitive touchscreen 5.5 inch LCD. Uh, with a 1280 by 720 resolution. The CPU GPU is the NVIDIA customized Tegra processor. Uh, it will feature 32 gig system memory. Um, and note that approximately 6.2 gigs of internal memory is reserved for use by the system. So you're looking at, you know, somewhere in the 26, um, 26 gigs of of storage. Uh, communication features, it features wireless LAN, um, Bluetooth 4.1 NFC near field communication, 
so you will have Bluetooth access as well. Uh, speakers are stereo, and your control inputs, you're going to have you know, your, your joystick and the D-pad as well. So this is going to be an awesome little addition to the Nintendo family. This is going to be great for parents looking to, to buy their kids a new Christmas present. Those kids that were wanting a Switch but the parents couldn't afford to fork out $300, this is a great alternative. And for those gamers that are looking for strictly portability, uh, I believe that this is the right direction that Nintendo needed to take. As far as continuing the Switch library, rather than going and creating an entirely new platform altogether. So, big thumbs up Nintendo on that. Um, but there you have it folks. There's the Nintendo Switch Lite. There are the new specs. There are the new features. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that thumbs up while you're at it. Hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. When you hit the bell icon, you will receive all notifications every single time I upload new content. I hope you have a fantastic day. I know I will. I'm Taddy Collector, and have a good one.